The hidden dangers of mental health can have huge impacts on the safety of what we do as individuals, but also as what we do as an airport. So I think you've really got to look out for your teammates. I have had a few you know, drop their heads over the last 12 months. You see it, you notice the change. If I see something isn't right, I will ask the question. Even outside the, in the airport community, you've got to look out for if they're a Qantas staff member and you notice something's not right, ask the question and look out for everyone, that's the key. We're a fairly tight-knit family, family-type unit. Uh, we spend a lot of time with each other, you know, up to 18-hour shifts uh, at Canberra. We notice each other's moods and differences in behaviour, etc. It's, it's quite uh, evident when somebody's not feeling the same as normal and, uh, and generally the team will pick up on it. Because of shift work we have to communicate a lot. There's a lot of communication backwards and forwards and whiteboards and notes left and all those sort of things because you don't see people, but you've got to communicate with them. We, we just look out for each other. We've got each other's back. We help each other when we need to help each other. We just make sure we're always there for each other. One of my uh, mental health strategies, I, I need to get in the gym and blow out the cobwebs and sort of anchors me for the day. I have to be well organised. <laughs> uh, that's my big thing. If I'm organised, I'm happy. We all talk. A bit of banter, keep each other on our toes. As soon as the guys walk in and we have a bit of a playful banter with each other, we soon go from feeling pretty drab to like, yeah, it's alright, we're okay.